Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Please welcome or recognize Chairman Kennedy to present the Veteran of the Week. Chairman Kennedy, you are both welcome and recognized to present the Veteran of the Week. Members, uh, I think that's the first time that uh, Leader Basher is ever welcomed me in this chamber, so I, I, I appreciate that. Uh, today is, every time we do Veteran of the Week, it is, it is a, a very special day. Uh, Mr. Edwards is an Army veteran, served in Vietnam, served his country, enlisted in 1965. Uh, but before we get to his citation and many of the things that he has done, I think it's incumbent that I recognize uh, his wife and his daughter, uh, Mrs. Edwards and Mrs. Swift. Uh, and if you recognize that name and you recognize the person sitting next to Mrs. Swift, who is the mom of Zach Swift, I think you all know uh, how many of you all Zach has helped uh, over the years being in the Capitol. And he is a, a valued asset and uh, he keeps me out of trouble, which is extremely hard to do. So uh, with that said, I would, uh, Mr. Speaker, ask the clerk to read the citation. Clerk, please read. Whereas Thomas Edwards Jr. of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, answered the call of duty by enlisting in the United States Army in December of 1965, embarking on a journey of selfless service and unwavering dedication to his nation. And whereas Thomas Edwards Jr. underwent rigorous basic training at Fort Polk, Louisiana, where he demonstrated his commitment to excellence and readiness for the challenges that lay ahead. Whereas Thomas Edwards Jr. further honed his skills and enterprise through the Advanced Individual Training, AIT, at Fort Jackson, South Carolina, preparing himself for the demanding responsibilities entrusted to him as a soldier. And whereas Thomas Edwards Jr. served with distinction for one and a half years in Germany, fulfilling critical duties such as guarding the historic Berlin Wall and overseeing the imprisonment of Nazi World War II prisoner of war, Rudolf Hess, at the Berlin Spandau prison, thus contributing to the maintenance of peace and security through a tumultuous period in history. And whereas Thomas Edwards Jr. demonstrated exceptional valor and resilience during his years of service in Vietnam as part of the renowned 1st Infantry Big Red One unit in Unit Corps 3 area, engaging in combat operations in the vicinity of Sha'an Loy, Lok Ni, Lai Ki, Fu Loy, and Di An, where his bravery and steadfastness in the face of adversity reflected the highest ideals of military service. And whereas upon completing his tour of duty, Thomas Edwards Jr. concluded his military service at Fort Polk, where he distinguished himself as an artillery demonstration leader, showcasing his expertise and leadership abilities to inspire and instruct future generations of soldiers. And whereas Thomas Edwards Jr. was honorably discharged from the United States Army with the rank of Staff Sergeant, having earned accolades including the prestigious Bronze Star for his exceptional meritorious service and acts of valor, thus leaving an incredible mark on the history of on the military history and now therefore pursuant to the motion of representative Kennedy the Oklahoma State Legislature extends to Thomas Edwards Jr. sincere congratulations and directs that this citation be presented.